Hey y'all, I am coming to you from my brand new classroom. If you miss the news, I am headed back to second grade this year and I could not be more excited. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different just because I am here. I'm not quite ready for the full tour yet, so excuse some of the mess that you see because we all know how that back to school chaos is. So today we're gonna to be talking about an unpopular opinion. A few days ago, I think maybe it was last week, I shared on Instagram things that were must have classroom purchases and things that you can just skip over that you don't really need. And I kind of have an unpopular opinion today here. So if you are ready, hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's dive in and get started. Last week, I did a poll on my Instagram stories. I'm gonna share an unpopular opinion and it's about student mailboxes. Now, don't come at me, I want you to stay with me here, but I don't think they're totally necessary. Now, like I said, do not get me wrong. If you have student mailboxes, you know, the kind that I'm talking about, the big, they're bulky, and each student has their own slot for you to put their work and their papers and all the things, that's great. But see, like, here's the thing. I have never had space for something like that in my classroom. And not to mention, to get a good one, they're expensive. And so back at, I believe it was like my second or third year teaching, I started looking for an alternative solution just because I just did not have the space for those big student mailboxes that everyone loves. I came up with this different solution and it's actually worked really great for me and it can cost you like less than $10 to make. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour over onto the next area of my classroom. Like I said, it might still be a little bit messy, but that's okay. And I wanna show you what I use instead. So this is actually what I use. I've been using a crate with large hanging file folders for several years. I've used this in first and second grade and it works great. So let me show you how it would work. This is just like a regular size crate. You would get this at either Walmart or Target or something like that. This is actually the Sterilite brand. And then these are the bigger hanging file folders, the larger size. And I made these little labels with student numbers so I'm not having to change them in and out every year. I printed them onto cardstock. I laminated them and then I glued, I believe I actually hot glued, nope. Maybe I taped, nope, I did, I taped. Um, and I attached them to these file folders. So then what kids do when they need to come pick up their work at the end of the day, or if I am passing out student work, it's really simple. I can just come here and I can just put things in their folder based on the student number. And then at the end of the day, when kids are needing to get things out of their turn-in folder and put them in their take-home folder or to put them in their backpack, all they do is they come and they grab the materials or the paper or whatever we have stuck inside their file folder, and then they put it into their backpack. And it has actually worked really, really well for me. As you can see here, I have these labeled all the way to number 25, and I still have plenty of space in here if I needed to add more students or create more folders if needed. But like I said, I have used this with first and second grade, and it has worked really well for me. It's really affordable, and look, it doesn't take up that much space. Instead of taking up my entire counter, it takes up just a little spot. So if you're interested and you wanna try out the crate mailboxes, I have a freebie for you. I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video. It's going to take you to a blog post. You can get the number labels that I have on the top there. You can get those for free and have them sent straight to your inbox. If you guys have any questions at all, do not hesitate to leave me a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey y'all, you may have noticed that in this video, I made a slight 
error. And so instead of going in and re-recording and doing all the editing and everything all over again, I wanted to let you know that the label that was on the front of the student mailbox crate, it was the wrong label. And I am just going to blame like tired back to school. So that has been fixed in the freebie download. The correct one looks like this. It should say student mailboxes instead of turn in folder. But I just wanted to let you know everything still works exactly the same. It's just the label that I have on the front is a little different. So that has been corrected. This is the one you will get in the download. And if you have questions, just let me know.